Yeah, Joe. First time I ever went to Europe, and I know that mixing is huge over there, and I yeah. know you're huge, was 1981, and I would go to the discotheques, and they would play what Disco was... Discotheques. <laughs> that, that, that's what they were at the time. Yeah. And laugh at your elders. This is one of them crank up phones, this too. This is all before you were line. born, so yes. bear with me here. But yep. they would play that Stars on 45, and that's the first time I ever heard the concept of putting these records together yeah. under a beat. Was that... Kind of where this the whole genre was born. Um, to tell you the truth, I have no idea. Maybe. <laughs> so you never uh, even heard that. No, I've never heard that. That was like your grandfather's <laughs> mix. I mean, because they, they, they sure. were they were all the forty fives. Well, that yeah, were I mean, like mixing were... in um, Europe is huge because they play a lot more house music over there. You know, more dance, electro music, and it's all about mixing the music. So, I I wouldn't be surprised if it was over there where it began. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, let me ask you uh, about a controversial thing. For some reason in this country, and not so much in Europe or anywhere else, mm. it has become controversial to discover that a performer is lip-syncing, i.e. dancing to pre-recorded tracks of themselves. Yes. And in fact, it's scandalous when anytime someone is discovered to be lip-syncing around here. Yeah. I understand that you defended Britney Spears when your local media, I wonder if it's like this in Australia too, mm -hmm. attacked her for lip-syncing. You did defend her, right? I I did, definitely, because, I mean, it's Britney Spears and it is the most amazing show. You could see there's so much going on. Um, to ruin it with, you know, just being negative, you know, I, yeah, I didn't uh, like that. <laughs> but, uh, and, and I, right, I respect your point of view. Yeah. To, to, to ruin it by actually having to sing, it seems you're, you're cheating the crowd. Of a, I mean, I, if, look, this I, is the opinion over here. Uh, you know and I don't mean to disrespect your opinion at no. all, but that's just, that's... Uh, as a guy raised in, in front of live music by bands who played live music, you yeah. rated how good a band was by how good they could deliver on a live stage. In tough uh, conditions. You know what? I, I agree with you. I'd like to see um, performers sing live as well. You know, there's a magic in that it's in itself. Uh, but I think it's always been obvious that Britney Spears didn't sing live like that's her brand her that, brand is the dancing yeah fair. it's and always the been the dancing yeah. the you know big shabam show right. and you know it's, it's kind of impossible to be singing that whole entire time and dance like she does right when you first started being a dj Yes. Club owners didn't like you. They were, uh, <laughs> they, they thought, what did they think? Just some pretty chick oh, who look, wants to be. I think, I, I don't blame them. I walked in there and I'm like, hey, I'm a DJ. <laughs> and they're just like, uh, no, yeah, whatever. And I just, you know, full on, like, seriously, I can play. Let me play for free. Just play, let me go on there for 10 minutes. You can throw me off anytime. And tell me you don't like what I'm doing. Yeah. So you had to prove you yourself like, for free. Oh, yeah, of course. You know. That's what Joe did to get into radio. Yeah, I worked for, it, it took a, uh, more than 10 minutes, about six months of working for free. But he yeah, was cuter then, though. So yeah. Yeah. Did so people I was like thinner and had hair at the time. Yeah. So did people on you all the time early on? Um, no. Not, not so bad? Really. No, I mean, yeah, you do get people hitting on you. I get a lot of girls. Hit on you. A lot of girls. You're a trophy. <laughs> Surprisingly, but I don't know whether not the guys are too not. scared or I don't know. You're Have you ever met Tiger yeah. Woods? <laughs> no, I've never met him. No. Right. And you, but you do have a husband or boyfriend at this point. I do have a boyfriend. You have a boyfriend. Yes. All right. Where is he? <laughs> is he locked up? <laughs> no, he's not locked up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does he miss you? Like when you're away? Uh, um, he travels with me. He's all traveling the time. with you. Okay, yes. so yeah, so you have a big enough entourage now that you can. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I'm a girl, you know, going to a different country, meeting, um, you know, going to a nightclub. My my father would go insane if I was doing it on my own. He's like, I don't want you to be a DJ. If you're going to that club on your own, I do not want you doing it. So your boyfriend is like your father's chaperone. <laughs> Watch it. Yeah. I guess. But I mean, you know, what better way to travel the world, you know? Oh, that's wonderful. And I'll tell you who misses you is Australia because we just put a little blurb you were going to be on our show and got three different emails. We have listeners in Australia. Yeah. Said, tell her, you know, good luck in the States and we miss her so much. Oh, down under. that's so sweet. Yeah. That's so awesome. Pedro told me this, you, told, you told him this was your first interview in America? Yes, it is. Wow, that's, a, that's an honor. Welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you for having me. Did you think it would be on a classic rock station? <laughs> no, definitely not. Can, do you use classic rock in your mixes? Yeah, I play. I you know ACDC. I play Thunderstruck all the time. I wow. play. 
Yeah. Did you make a mix for us? Yeah, I do. I did actually. I put Blur in there. Do you? Do you guys like Blur? I don't know if that's classic actually at the moment. Do you like it? I love Blur. You know, you know better than us. Yeah. So, wait a minute. <laughs> Tell us how you made this. You made a, a special mix for us. How, I did. How long is it? Uh, it's. 10 minutes, 11 minutes or something. Okay, we can't play the whole thing now. Oh, then no. we would be done talking to you. <laughs> but we can play a little taste of it. Yes. And you, okay. and where did you make this mix? I made it on the way here. In the car? <laughs> In the car. <laughs> Using what? Um, I use different programs. There's Ableton, there's Pro Tools, right. Mixmaster. All different programs. Um, I, you know, I program. I've got my own radio shows in Australia as well, so She's I do great. that on a weekly basis. Hey, quick question. How do you feel? I want a couple of quick industry things. Just curious. Yeah. A point of view of someone who's up and coming and becoming a superstar. You're, you're the future. In this era. How how do you feel about pitch correction used oh. in the recording studio? Oh, um... Um, I think that's okay. It's fine. It's a <laughs> Absolutely tool. fine. You know, I don't want to listen to a record with the, when there's pitch problems all over the place. All right. Any, any others? Any other controversial stuff? Oh, I'm uh, just look, trying to I... swallow that little <laughs> <number>. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a, uh, there's a particular sound about it. I mean, look, this there's is, T-Pain. This, this is what aging in, looks like when you're, when you're, 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 I'm feeling older by the second. Because <laughs> I realize that it's a different, it's a brave new world out there. It is there, a different world. It know? is, it is. And um, look, there's T-Pain out there who has made a career out of using auto-tune. And I love the way it sounds. I don't care that he's used it. I just like his music, so it doesn't really matter. Way, I just listen to it because I enjoy it. When some of our favorite bands started using the synthesizer, it was considered blasphemy yeah. until yeah. once The Who comes out with Won't Get Fooled Again, yeah. we went, oh, we just like the way it sounds. Even now, The Who, yeah. when they do Bob O'Reilly, they just bring a tape of that sound. They don't play it live. Yeah, It's, a, it's part of the way. And I think young people should irritate older people. <laughs> I think that's our job, right? <laughs> but I mean, you know, the world is getting so much faster with all internet and, mm -hmm. you know, all the technology out there. So it's, you know, got to keep up with it, right? <laughs> Eric Corman, go ahead. Yeah, Havana, I've got a question about the future of, of art and music because yeah. Brittany came out and she was shocking because she shook her midsection and... and with uh, a snake. Uh, with a snake, exactly. That was hot. <laughs> I loved it. Well, it... It was, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but then, then now we've got Lady Gaga, and Lady Gaga is performance art on stage, so she's Britney on steroids. She's what? like Madonna <laughs> and Britney on steroids. I know. Yeah, yeah so it's what, crazy. So what's next? What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. Uh, Lady Gaga is awesome. I love her, and I love where she's going with this. I mean, she's a true superstar. I don't know. I don't know how far you can push it, how much more you can do, really. I'm thinking cannibalism is probably next. For yeah, or, you know, I don't know, stage. maybe killing someone. I don't know. <laughs> I'd say pretend cannibalism, though. That'd oh, be fine. It's just yeah. tofu. It's a tofu <laughs> roti. <laughs> yes, Pedro. I, I, I don't want to sound rude because I love you. Your music is fantastic. You're yeah. beautiful. Oh, thank you. I have this question. Is the, um, Lady Gaga, is she a woman or a man? You probably oh, saw her. Oh, she's a I woman. Don't. She's a woman. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know. That's like Paul McCartney walking barefoot. They put that little thing in her thing so that you would oh, wonder. Exactly. <laughs> I think she the loves the controversy. Yeah, she, she loves it. So yeah. she doesn't mind you yeah. talking about it. <laughs> DJ Havana Brown going to be at Snoqualmie Casino. Let's let's bring up the mix she made for us so we can uh, thank her with that in the background. Here we go. No one else has this. No. Just for our no, show. No, no, just for the show. All right. You know, we probably can't play the whole thing on the, yeah, every no. hour. You know how that is. All right, thank you very much, uh, Havana Brown, for being with us today. All the best to you in your career. Thank you very much. Anything you heard about on the show, you can get online at bobrivers.com. Uh, 